left a uh, meeting <coughs> uh, for an upcoming project I'm going to be doing a uh, office fit out <coughs> so I had to meet with the client and the designer <coughs> uh, we're going to get going on it in like a month or so and uh, the guy's really into like reclaimed wood style uh, very rustic um, so today the designer went over the light fixtures with them, the sconces that are going on the wall uh, I believe there is 25 of them so when she pulled the light out <clears throat> um, it was a really cool looking industrial looking light and he liked it a lot <clears throat> and I believe the price was like uh, I think she quoted like $280 a fixture maybe even $300 around um, you know times 25 of them so he, the client, actually gave me uh, the idea to do this. He said, I love it, but it looks like something I can make. And, you know, of course, the designer uh, replied that you can't make it, blah, blah, blah. So I didn't say two words, but uh, I'm on the way to my house. I'm going to jump in my shop and gather uh, some parts together. Um, I got to make one trip to the store to buy something. But I think everything else I have. Uh, and I'm going to put together a price list. And uh, we're going to make our own sconce. Um, and see, and see uh, if I can pull it off or not. So uh, I'll see you guys in the shop. Alright guys, here we go. <clears throat> so <clears throat> these are all the pieces. This is all gas pipe material. Um, here's a light socket. I bought a lampshade uh, cage and I bought a Edison bulb um, LED which this was the, actually the most expensive part you guys don't have to spend that much money on a bulb I'm doing it just for this guy um, that I'm gonna work for so th this came in a in a two pack these two floor uh, uh, flanges for gas pipe were 389 um, Two three-inch nipples, two fifty-nine. Um, One ninety uh, half-inch gas pipe was a dollar forty-nine. The light socket was a dollar eighty-nine. The cage was eight forty-nine. So just with those pieces, it was only eighteen dollars and thirty-five cents. The bulb was almost ten bucks alone. Uh, 989 so that brings you to twenty eight dollars and twenty four cents All right guys, so here's the light socket. This is how it comes out of the package This is left off so you can wire your um, Socket, okay So what I did was I hot glue glued the top of the socket into the gas floor fl flange Okay, now I did I was able to come up with an adapter for it, but it made it it made it hang too low from the floor flange, and um, it just didn't look right. So I nixed that. So all you want to do is take take your hot glue gun, and if you don't have a hot glue gun, guys, um, what do you call it? Uh, Gorilla glue glue or um, or uh, There you go, just stick it in, let it set up, just like that. I mean, the, the hot glue gun is fast, but, um, uh, you know, Gorilla Glue, Crazy Glue, it'll all work. So, that's it. Alright. Now, <clears throat> what you want to do is take your wired socket okay it doesn't matter what screws you put the terminals to okay sorry guys I'm trying to keep all this in the uh, <coughs> the shot here you send your wire through your hole okay send your wire through your hole all you do is push till it clicks and that's it all right, now you take your um, three inch 
uh, half inch nipple and guys I decided to go with a, I was playing around with this a little bit um, but not much time at all most of this I had in my shop now you just screw your nipple on right doesn't have to be tight tight okay I made a three-quarter one and in and and in his case it, it just looked too bulky the half inch looked uh, looked more uh, to proportion for what we were doing you take your half inch 90 send the wire through it okay spin it snugly don't have to be uh, crazy all right take your other three inch nipple okay put that through alright send your wire through put that on okay you take your second <coughs> uh, half inch floor flange run it through the wire put this on the end I think you guys know where I'm going with this now, right? Okay. Put that on. Okay. Alright, now guys. <clears throat> this cage I bought. <clears throat> okay. I drilled two holes in it. So what I did was. <clears throat> I lined the holes to the floor flange where I wanted them, okay? I took my drill gun, okay? I just picked a drill bit that that fit the hole, and then I used any random screws I had. I found them in my bins, okay? Two of these guys, all right? Put them in the hole. And guys, I literally just did this on the fly. I didn't put much thought into it. But now, now that I am um, doing this, I mean, there's so many applications you could do with this pipe. You know, you could, you could, uh, you could, uh, you can make anything—a table lamp, or you know, it's pretty cool. You actually see a lot of this type of light in the. Uh, in the base in basements now uh, you know, just put your two two screws on okay all right put this screw in and then guys also if you want you could um spray paint this a nice color or actually take uh, sandpaper and patina it you know scratch it up make it look cool all right guys so there's your uh, there's your lampshade now you take your Edison bulb like that I might even get a smaller bulb guys I don't know I literally ran to uh, Home Depot and found all this stuff on the fly I thought it was pretty cool that they had the uh, the cage though you know I thought I was actually gonna have to look for this I'm sorry this goes in here like so all right that just clips this turns around There you go guys. There it is. Okay? I think it's uh I think it's pretty cool. Alright. Let me uh let me turn the camera around and we'll fire this bad boy up. Hey guys, well there it is. Um I think it's pretty cool. Um I'm telling you the fixture she brought was pretty close to this, you know. Um 
you know it had it had fabricated iron pipe um, and all this stuff but um, I'm, I may play with the proportions a little more um, you know when I'm on site I may decide to jump up to three-quarter pipe because the cage looks a little big compared to the half-inch pipe but I think it's enough to show him um, that we could come up with something um, so, um, you guys can set this up any way you like you can leave it on the pull chain um, you could also um, you know wire it right into your uh, J box right into the wall on a switch um, you could wire it to a uh, plug it into a switched outlet um, sky's the limit so guys as I'm sitting here editing uh, this gas this gas pipe uh, sconce light <clears throat> just got done editing it I said for the hell of it while I'm waiting for it to uh, save I jumped online and looked it up look at this gas pipe light they're selling online for $146 okay <clears throat> there's maybe without without those bulbs I was talking about there's maybe I don't know uh, look at this one for $113 I mean there's probably Fifteen dollars in parts in there without the LED um, Edison bulbs. Um, I, I mean, I, I could just go on and on. I mean, <clears throat> all right. Here, here, here's one that's a little down to earth. Um, this one's twenty-two dollars without the cage. Okay, and obviously the bulb. Um, which makes no sense because just these gas pipe parts are probably, I don't know, uh, 11, 12 bucks. Uh, so I, I, uh, I guess I'm not the only one doing it, but, but you know, here, here are examples. Like you could just do different cool stuff. I mean, these things are, uh, selling for pretty price, price tag and you could, um, you could build them yourself. So, I'm going to re-edit this and throw it in. So guys, please uh, comment Please comment down below. Let me know what you're uh, thinking. Um, any constructive criticism, well, bring it, welcome it. Um, we'll be back on the job site soon, guys. I've just been so busy. I'm trying to film, but, you know, it's just, uh, it's just been a little chaotic right now. But anyway, uh, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, smash that notification bell, and uh, <clears throat> I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.